You can change the color theme in the startup window in Cascada. You know, we do need an intro for this one, don't we? Yeah, we do. Anyways, there is more changes you can make to customize the viewport to your liking. Go to Settings, Settings window. And under Visualizers, you can find the color settings for different visual elements. I'm going to walk you through some of them. For instance, there are two settings for the sky color in the viewport, for the light and for the dark theme. You can use the search bar to quickly find the settings you need. Type in sky. Now, because I have a dark theme selected, I'm going to change this setting here. You can choose any color you like. I'll pick sky blue, for instance. Ah, uh, come on, this is turquoise. Actually, it does look more like teal to me. Anyways, I'm going to change the earth color now. And once again, I'm going to change the setting for the dark theme. Nah, it's not teal. Looks more like baby blue. Sure. And this is baby poo then. <laughs> On a gloomy day. Let's check the grid settings now. You can adjust the grid cell size. By default, it's set to 10 centimeters. You can always click this button to return to the default value. You can change its color. And you can extend it by changing this value here. You can hide the grid from the viewport under Visualizers Visible by setting it to off. There is also a separate setting for the isometric view as well. You can also change the color for the meshes. Um, is it baby pink? Any changes that you make can be saved and exported. And you can click this button to reset all the settings to default. You can also import all the previously saved settings at any time. Oh, I could be blush pink as well. Or magenta. Flamingo. Ooh, lavender. Are you still?